Like an oyster or a crepe. I know. I'm wheels up at 4.30, so got a jet soon. Take me with you. Not until you're feeling better. Not a minute before. Don't worry. I won't go chasing after you. I'm going to be gone for 72 hours. Are you sure you're going to be okay? Yeah. Eden's going to keep me company. That bimbo? My bestie. There was a fight last night. Yeah. It didn't win. What's left of it's all over the front lawn. What? Dead cat. I was talking about the neighbors across the street. The Grandersons? Yeah. Mr. Granderson was really letting Mrs. Granderson have it over something. Are we sure it's not a Viagra-inspired incident? I was thinking crime of passion. Murder. Red rum? <laughs> Josie, don't get all rear window on me. The only thing that was murdered last night was some poor tabby in the front yard. Was it the gray and white one? Uh, it was inside out. <laughs> Ew. Yeah, well, I called animal control and they'll be coming by this morning. Are you sure that you're going to be okay without me? I can find someone to fly for me if needed. I'll be fine. Just going to lay here and watch movies and zen out on feeling better. And slam them down, right? Okay, well, lay off the Hitchcock and the horror movies. Stick to the Disney Channel. That would make me want to kill Mrs. Granderson. Too bad Mr. Granderson already beat you to it. Right? I'll be right back, just as soon as I fly to Hong Kong. Watch out for that rough part over the South China Sea. Xi Xi. You're welcome. Hey, one thing. Don't let Mr. Granderson catch you eavesdropping. Keep the blinds closed. He may discover there's a loose end he needs to tie up. Thanks. I hope the wings don't fall off. Love you. Love you too. I hate this. Do you make a lot of house calls, Doctor? No. So just the cute girls, then? I know some of my patients better than others. This was on my way. I appreciate it. Fever? Sometimes. You're on duty tonight? God help you. Hey. Your blood work is inconclusive. Not necessarily a bad thing in and of itself but it's not helping. I want you to do another series of tests for when you're feeling a little stronger. Okay. You, liquids, lots of them. Simple broth, soup, nothing too hard to digest. Check. I'll see myself out. Hey, what's going on with her? 
Yeah, you were in there, you heard me. Yeah. You know, your bedside manner is a little frigid. Listen, Josie has a condition, obviously. But we'll figure it out and solve it. Is it cancer or something? No, I don't think so. Is it contagious? How are you feeling? I feel fine. So we'll give it a few days and see, shall we? Mono. Stop it. I do not have mono, SARS, MERS, bird flu, Ebola, measles. What was the other one? HPV. No. Well, sue me. I'm worried. Thank you. Worry quieter. Hmm. Ah. Oh, but if you think of one where it feels like your insides are trying to jump out, let me know. <sighs> Maybe you're pregnant with a devil swan. Huh? Mm-hmm. Uh, it's so weird. I'm not nauseated, but I'm starving. I feel like nothing tastes right. I could murder a steak right now. Mm, well, meat is murder. Or at least that's what you tell me. Maybe that's it. It's your body rebelling against you not eating meat all these years. I told you that vegetarian stuff is dangerous. Yeah, you're on to something. Yeah, I bet. Ooh, you want me to make you some tacos? I brought some ground beef. No. I put it in your refrigerator. Okay. More for me, I guess. What is all this stuff? You're supposed to be rusting. The Perry house has stood unmolested for two decades. Unmolested? I didn't write it. It's research. Before I was so tragically struck down in my prime, I was pitching this story, I was gonna do a special feature on it, but it didn't get very far. How do you molest a house? It just means it's been untouched. So what's the scoop? Well, it's part urban legend, part real life mystery. There's this house out in the boonies. A woman lived there with two kids. They may have been her kids, they may not. They may have been abducted, kept prisoner. No one ever saw them. No one ever really saw the woman. But one day, a kid was going around with candy bars for a school fundraiser, and he knocks on the door. A girl answers. She's about 11. And the kid hears a woman inside the house asking who's at the door. At this point, the girl whispers, run. And the woman appears all of a sudden, shoves the girl out of the way, and tries to drag this poor kid into the house. He ran. Well, did he look back? He did not. He went straight home to his parents and told them what happened, and they called the cops. So the police show up, and they found that the house looked like it had been left in a hurry. Plates were still on the dinner table, lights were on, and this is the urban legend part, the oven was on. So the cops open it up and find a pot inside. 
Now, there's no written report of what happens next, but rumor has it they uncover the lid and inside, cooking like a roast, was a human foot, a child's foot. Awesome. Yeah, your kind of stuff, you little freak. <laughs> anyway, they lock up the house, put out an all points on the woman and the kids, but they had hardly anything to go on. And if they were in the house getting their cannibal on, there were no written reports of other missing children in the area. So time goes by, the story goes cold, and any evidence they might have had of a foot in the oven, gone. A caretaker came forward and told the police the woman's name was Perry, hence the Perry house. Mm. After she was gone, he shut the house up and left it. And it stayed that way for 16 years until a nosy realtor took a peek inside and noticed that everything was still untouched. Everything was left exactly as it was the night the kid with the candy bars took off running. As far as anyone knows, it's still that way right now. Why? That was the angle I was working on. I was going to go out there and have a look, but... Well, send me. Me and Sean. Send you where? To the house. Casa del Perry. I don't even know what I was going to do over there. Oh, come on. You were going to break in and look around. I was not. Yeah, you were. I know you. So we'll go. Me and Sean will go and we'll bring the video camera. We had an idea. Whoa! Who's we? Kimusabi. I had an idea. Credit where credit's due, baby doll. No, you had more like an addendum to my idea. Okay, well my addendum sure felt like it was its own entire idea. That's fine. Okay. So, what idea did someone have? Yeah, what idea did someone have? Just go ahead. Well, you see, Eden here said we were going to take my video camera, we're going to go to this place, we're going to get some shots for you for your story. And then I said, wait, why don't we Skype using our cell phones? And I can get a GoPro in there using the Wi-Fi from the car. We can get a bunch of angles, we can record that shit. So that way you have something to show your station. Uh, okay. <laughs> I'm not really sure, but, um, honey, doesn't that sound exactly like my idea? Yeah, but this way she's on the call with us, so she can direct. But you always kind of want to direct. Who hasn't? Right, so she's going to be on the call with us, and she can see what we see. And we can record it. It's my idea. Fine. So what about, like, motion detectors or night vision or something? I don't think so. Why? In case we need to pick up paranormal activity. Wait, you didn't say anything about this being a haunted house. It's not a haunted house. Are you sure? No. No, I'm not. I'm not gonna. What not gonna are you it. so afraid of? I should have known this. You would want to go into a haunted house, wouldn't you? It's fine. I will protect you just like I always do, just like at Halloween Horror Nights. Seriously, he hid behind me the entire time when we were in the haunted maze. I don't like shit jumping out at me. Is that so wrong? Guys, it's not a haunted house. It's an empty house. Okay, well where uh, is this house? In a little place called Bell Mountain. There she is, Miss America. Hey, give us a twirl. Stop, wait up, freeze. Damn, girl. You're an idiot. What do you... I just like the way your cell phone looks in your back pocket. Okay. Why are you messing with that thing? I'm testing it. I'm not messing with it. I thought you already knew how to use it. I do. Right, I just haven't used it before. 
I bought it to take skydiving. <laughs> you are so not going skydiving. Says who? That says me. <laughs> you be your pants at the first sign of turbulence. You're not I, going. Okay. What keeps the plane from falling out of the sky? A uh, lift? Thrust? That was us last night. Look, I'm probably not going for you. Skydiving, but I got a GoPro. Can we just call Josie before we get there? Where is your wife, sir? Radio check. Do you receive me? <sighs> Loud and clear. Well, for some reason that probably only you know, we are in the middle of the desert. Where are you guys? We're going to Bell Mountain. Isn't that where you wanted us? Did you know it was like halfway to Vegas? Vegas! Whoop, whoop, whoop! We're going to Vegas. Let's go to Vegas, baby. Oh, yeah. You like Vegas, don't you? Yeah, I love Vegas. I get like infamously crazy in Vegas. It like gets on the wall. Oh, I'm sure Josie wouldn't mind. We just kept on motoring through. Guys, please. <sighs> it's all good, Joes. We're a few miles out. Hey, check this. You remember that website I bookmarked for you? Um. Yeah, that's the one I told you about when we went over everything. Yeah, but you're like the guys at the Genius Bar. It all makes a lot more sense to you than it does the rest of us. You know, all I heard was, uh, genius. Did you, did you catch that? Eat. You're very pretty, although kind of sickly friend. Said I'm a genius. Josie, please don't steal my boyfriend. Please. Oh, dude, you'd miss me if I was gone. Eh, I guess I would. Yeah, you'd be going to a haunted house all by yourself. Yeah, well, with you hiding behind me the entire time, I might as well be going by myself. Well, maybe I'm just happiest when I'm behind you. Right behind you. Oh, I think I'm gonna be sick. Honey, are you okay? Oh, perfect. So, I looked this house up. There's a few things you left out of the initial pitch. Yeah. Apparently this house has a reputation, doesn't it? What kind of a reputation? Oh, I don't know. Joes, how about you fill us in? Joes? Nothing. There's nothing there. Uh, no. What about the kids? Wait, what kids? There might be a few things. What things? <sighs> things that go bump in the night. No, not really. See, at first the house was abandoned for a while. But then some kids broke in and... I don't know, they had a seance or something. Supposedly. 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 What happened? I don't know for sure. I found a 911 call log. It was like 10 years ago. Four kids found the place, broke in, did their thing, poked around, you know. What, the Ouija board? Yeah. No, you do not mess with things like that. Oh, come on, don't be such a wuss. Do I mean, you know they're fake. You can get them at toy stores. Not the real ones. I don't know all the details, except that at some point in the night, they called 911 in a panic. I guess one of the kids was having a seizure or something. Did he...? She. No. She didn't. But as far as I know, she also never went back to school. And may never speak again. She might be in a home somewhere. Again, I don't know for sure. Haunted house. Told you guys. You know, I have an idea. We could just put the GoPro on a drone, and we could just fly no, the drone no, right no, through the no, house. No, so safe. No, we are not doing a drone. We're gonna go in. Josie would have done it herself, but she's laid up. I am. Sean? What? What was that bookmark thing you were telling me about? Yeah, okay, um... 
go to your bookmarks. It's called Live View, open up in a new window, and then the user ID is gonna be Sicky Vicky, all one word. Sicky Vicky, thanks a lot. You got it? Yep. All right, that should be the GoPro. Wi-Fi to the car. Ooh, is it gonna get like ghosts and stuff? Sean. Mm. Honey. What? Be quiet over there. Yeah, right. Wow. Usually only call out to God when we're doing something else. Hi, Josie. So this is the place, huh? How come stuff like this always happens in places like this? What do you mean? I mean like serial killers and cults and stuff. It's always in like weird, out of the way places. Manson's followers killed people in Beverly Hills. Marilyn Manson? Charles. You think his friends ever called him Chuck? There, take this. Hey Joes, how we feeling? Any sign of your neighbor's wife? No, but I saw him carry two huge garbage bags out to his car. Did I tell you that Josie thinks that her neighbor might have killed his wife? What the hell is this world coming to, man? Kinda ruins your whole theory of it only happens in the desert, huh? We might need to go back and do some recon work. This is gonna call with us. Copy that. Hola, como esta? Bueno. So, guys, how are we gonna do this now? Neighbors might see us, so... Hmm, good point. So maybe we come back when it's dark. No. All right. It's bad enough I gotta sneak around a haunted house during the day. I'm not gonna do it well, at night. Well, you brought it up. What do we? What do we do if someone catches us? Look, just follow the first rule of being someplace you're not supposed to. And that's look like you belong. What if that doesn't work? Uh, cry, run. Hey, guys, I really appreciate what you're doing, even if you don't survive. <sighs> What, man? I'm totally kidding. <laughs> She's got her sense of humor. They say that's the last thing to go. Hey, Jos. We're gonna go catch you a ghost. There aren't gonna be any... You know what? Never mind. What? Why would you say never mind to that? Why did she say never mind to that, though? You guys, what else don't I know? Oh, honey. I don't even know where to start. Let's go. Come on. Eden, can you switch to your front camera? What? How am I supposed to do my help me? I'm so scared face. Show us what's scaring you. It's better TV. Fine. Ladies first. Well, thank you. Let's go. Just put these in. Put these in your ears. I know what they do. Why? Because when we're inside, if Josie wants to talk to us, we don't broadcast her voice all over the place. Good idea, Sean. Yeah, that's a good idea. We don't want to disrupt whomever might be in there. Dude, what? Quit torturing him, Aiden, please. Thank you. Fuck. <gasps> Guys, get in there and get out of there, okay? On it. Wait, what are we supposed to do, though? Like, break a window or something? Try the doors first. No, there's a security lock on the front door. Try the back. Look, let's just go our separate ways. Just try any window that you find. You go that way, I'll go this way, and then we'll meet around the back. Okay? Fine, okay. yeah. But wait. What? Kiss, maybe? No. You want me to go in here? Might as well. It's probably to keep all the bodies. <sighs> Just know that if you find me hung up in here like a side of meat, I was very fond of you, okay? Feeling needs to be mutual. <sighs> no, it's locked. It's okay. The house is more important. 
We're just gonna go in when we're locked out or not? Are you all right with that? I mean, as long as, as long as you got bail money. God, quit whining. Hey, is that you? Hello. Jesus, guys, the CDC will have enough time to figure out what's wrong with me before you quit messing around. Wow, sorry, Joes. Hey, don't forget who is all the way out here in BFE for who. that before. Oh my god. Honey, are you okay? There are two back doors. The one in front of you and the one on the other patio. Okay, you want us to split up again? No. No, just try the door. Okay. You ready? No. Come on, you try it. It's probably locked anyway. I tried the one up front. I tried the garage. Will you two please go in the haunted house before I lose my mind? You know, being bedridden does not suit her. No kidding. I got this. Oh my god. Josie? He's right outside my window. Who? My, my neighbor. The one who killed his wife? Wait, where, where is she going? Hey! What are you doing? Hey, Josie! Don't go out there! Josie! Wait, is she kidding right now? What about us? Hey! Hey, wait! Oh, here. Did you hurt yourself? I'm okay. I just haven't been on my feet in a few days. Are you sick? Never been better. Oh, you, you look like hell. Thanks. Well, I'll, uh, I'll be going. Wait. What were you doing in my front yard? Uh, I, I didn't know anyone was home. I, I'm sorry I bothered you. What are you, a cat burglar? Uh. Mind if I sit? No. I was trying to put it together, just to understand what happened. What? Uh, the cat, the one in your yard. A dead cat? What about it? Animal control called, they said they thought a coyote attacked it or something. No. I interview a lot of people for my job. I listen. That was our cat, my wife's and mine. She killed it, brought it over here, then killed it on your front lawn. Why? Uh, she said it was a gift, uh, an offering. To whom? To you. She wasn't well, you understand. Hadn't been for some time. She'd sit at our front window and stare over here, singing kids' songs to herself. She'd say things about you. Me? I don't think I've ever spoken with her. Now, now that I look, I do see a resemblance. Some years ago, there was a neighbor family, and they had a daughter, hair like yours. Maybe that's what my wife saw, Stephanie. All grown up. She adored that child. Had her over all the time. Baking, sewing, tea parties. One day, they liked their tea, you know, the English way, with milk and sugar. I found my wife in the kitchen. She had rat poison. She was spooning it into little Stephanie's tea. Her eyes were blank. She said, she's a witch. She's cast a spell and it must be broken. I sent the girl home. 
Then I went back to my wife. It was like nothing had happened. She was all smiles. Wondered why Stephanie left. After a while, the family moved away. And then my wife was diagnosed with dementia and Alzheimer's. Mr. Granderson, where is your wife? I put her in a home. It's all I could do. You never really know the darkness in someone's soul until it rears its ugly head. Eden. It's like the 20th century and you're still... Guys? You got inside? Guys, can you hear me? Guys? Can you hear me? What? They weren't kidding, this is creepy. Preserved for posterior. Pretty sure it's posterity. Posterior is your backside, babe. Eden? I'm gonna set the GoPro up real quick. What was that about the oven? Were they cooking people? I'm gonna look. Just keep it to yourself if you find anything. There's a pot. There's pot? No, there's a pot. But what's in it? I don't know. Ew, but like what if there's some like rotten stew in there? Or a foot? Ooh, that would be cool. There's nothing. It's empty. What? Um, nothing. Nothing. Maybe this place really is haunted. Hey, what's up? It's Eden. Who leaves messages anymore? Just text me already. Damn it, Eden. You're on your phone. Look at the incoming call. Why can't you guys hear me? GoPro's up. Oh, guys. Hey, if there's a cellar in this place, you're going in. That's one idea I am not entertaining. <laughs> no way, Jose. Happens to people that go into cellars. First, the light burns out. Then, they have matches, and one by one, those go out. <laughs> That's right. Guys. And then on the last one. Damn it! Hey, I wonder if they 
have running water. I have to pee. Let's try. <sighs> really? Oh. Are you actually filming yourself peeing? I shouldn't have had that big gulp. Sean, there's something in the house with you guys. I saw it on the... Uh, this chair is rocking by itself? Oh. It's, uh, it's almost cliche. Seriously? What did you say, honey? I'm sorry, I, uh, I wasn't listening. What did you say? <sighs> Eden? Eden? Gotcha. I'm really sorry. We were just messing around and it was just supposed to be a joke. Josie, please don't. I'm so hungry. Are you the doctor? Of course you twit.
Out. But I'm going to... Out. Josie? Josie? I don't think that's a good idea. What did you do? I thought I told you to leave. Well, I didn't, and you said out. That doesn't mean leave. Perhaps I should have been more explicit than the intellectually challenged. Okay, that's enough. What happened? Josie, what did you do? I'll make some tea. Hey, what, what did you do to her? What did you give her? What happened in that house? I'm truly sorry. No, we are. We are. Yeah, we are truly sorry. I just, I just thought it that... It was my idea, though. No, it was my idea, no, was and my I, idea. I just... No, what part was your idea? It's the part to rig all this stuff. Like, yeah, I mean, I guess that part was your idea, but it was my idea to do something to distract her and make her feel better. Didn't work. I know, and I am so sorry. We. We are, are really, really sorry. So that's it? You set it all up? Yeah. We went in there before we called you, and we just, yeah, we set it all up. Well, what was there when you first went in? What was in the house? Uh, it's just a bunch of furniture under sheets. The table setting? We did it. Toy cars. Pot in the oven. That was me. Magnet letters. Yeah, I just sort of sleight of handed the letters. And and I pointed the camera away. I had some fishing line that was tied to the rocking chair. I was just pulling it. That's great. Josie? What did he give you? I mean, you look so much better. Don't change the subject. You two got attacked. What? Did you attack each other? Yeah, I faked it and then I attacked him. I purposely set up the cameras to get that shadow on the ceiling vibe. It was just like a what was Spielberg did. Like... No! Ah! Ah! And what about the other person? Who's that? Wait, what? What other person? The person in the dining room. I don't... It was just, just us. Wait, uh, where did you say you saw it? On the GoPro, when you two were searching the house. There was someone standing by the table in the dining room. It was a silhouette. I couldn't see them clearly. And then they just walked off shop. Josie. Honey, what's going on with you?
GoPros up. I didn't see anything. Okay. Visiting hours are over. Are we clear? I am tired. Okay. I really am sorry. Hey, feel better, Joe's, okay? We'll come back for Sean's stuff later, okay? Try this. You think I'm contagious? No. You think I'm a zombie? No. You're supposed to say there are no such things as zombies. I can't know for sure. Your color's better. What did you give me? A plasma boost. You're very anemic. The test showed that. And when your friend called and explained what was happening, you were obviously crashing. This acted like a shot of adrenaline. Plasma, like blood? Like plasma. It's in the blood. I ate a whole pound of raw hamburger today. When? Earlier. Why would you do that? I have no idea. But you're a vegetarian. I know. Well, that's one way of falling off the wagon. What brought that on? I don't know. Eden and Sean were helping me with some research. I was watching them on Skype. They were in the house and... House? What house? It's just an abandoned house with a history. God, maybe there is something wrong with that place. I felt fine until I stumbled across that story. Story? A woman and her kids, attempted kidnapping, rumors of cannibalism, a house sits empty for years. No answers, and plenty of questions. Where is this house? It's in a place called Bell Mountain, north of here. Bell Mountain. You know it? Oh, maybe driving through. These cravings you've been having, have you had them all along? I mean, ever since you started to feel unwell? No. Just an agonizing emptiness. And... Yes? Okay. Look, I... thought I saw something on the recording. They had another camera with them in the house and I saw someone on the screen. But we just watched it and there's nothing there. There's nothing in the recording. But when I saw it, I got the worst cramps that I've ever had. And just like that, I was in the kitchen, chowing down. What's happened to me? We'll figure it out. I wouldn't recommend any more raw meat, though. There's enough of a mystery without worrying about you contracting mad cow disease. <laughs> it's too late. I already spent the morning grazing. <laughs> We're fucked then, aren't we? Fuck. 
darkness will all become clear. Stay strong. Yes, Doctor. Morning. Is it? Somewhere. It's five o'clock somewhere. It's midnight somewhere. Time is relative. Are you leaving? You just got here. Oh, I've been here for the past 24 hours, but you've been sleeping beauty through most of it. <laughs> That's me and my fairy tale existence. So, what did I miss? Crime scene across the street? He didn't kill her. I didn't think so. He put her in a home. Why? Remember the cat on the front lawn? Yeah. That was the Granderson's cat. Oh no. Yeah, she killed it. And left it here as an offering. To me. To you? Did you know his wife? No. What is this home they put her in? A supermax facility? I mean, what's wrong with her besides the obvious? She's not well. Like me. Let's hope not like you. Where are we going this time? Sydney. Down and back. 36 hours. I guess you know where I'll be. Has Dr. Connery been here? Twice. And? I don't know. I might be turning into a zombie. Hey. Is it alright that I'm not here? You are here. I know, but when you're like this, you've been here for me. And I should be here for you. No, you have a job that takes you away. I understand. Yeah, but you're going through all this by yourself. It's always been us. Robert, do you remember anything? Sure, I remember lots of things. I mean, from before. Before Dr. Connery took us in. No, I mean, I was, what, like five years old? I was 11. Shouldn't I remember? I have a blind spot. There's just nothing. 
Yeah, listen, Dr. Connery's already explained this to us. When we lost our parents, that loss caused a serious post-traumatic stress episode, especially after we moved from foster family to foster family. And then the stress of trying to stay together the whole time just forced us to stay in the present moment. Everything else just faded away. No memories. And now you can't stay in one place and I have trouble with relationships. I like to travel. And you just haven't found the right person yet. Look, remember, Connery said it's all going to come back to us in time. I mean, he used some highly technical psychobabble term for it, but... I'm sure he did. <laughs> I had a dream. I think it was about our mother. She was forcing me to eat meat. It's been a recurring meat motif lately. But you're a vegetarian. Why did I decide to do that? Why not eat meat? And no memories? Post-traumatic episodes? What's that about? Maybe that's the lead I should be following. What happened to us? I don't know. Look, once again, can I implore you to find something light and funny to focus on? No more murderers across the street. No more digging up our past. Just live in the moment. You're a good little brother. Well, I'm your only little brother. Can I pick you up something in Sydney? I've always wanted a koala bear. I'll see what I can do. I'll be right back.
my room. I'm going home. No, you don't. It's either the house or you have to stay in the dog cage for two hours. Come on. Why? Get moving. Why? Because if you don't, I'm going to tell Mom you were sucking face with Tommy from next door. I was not. Listen. The sound makes your heart race. The hunger. You feel it now. Don't you? You must be. 
eat. I did not. Well, I'm still gonna tell her. Unless you go in there. The house or the cage. And he's real small. He's a pug. <sighs> I don't like either of you. You know what happened in there, right? The people who lived here? Yeah, they lured kids from the neighborhood in. Then, they ate them. When the police finally arrived, they found bones in the oven. Kids' bones, about your size. There were no bones in the oven. She's not going in there. Yeah, I guess not. Looks like it is the dog cage after all. Kara, every kid in Hell Mountain's gone in there. You go in five minutes, you come out. No one will ever call you a baby again. Five minutes? Five minutes. And you have to tell us what's in there. Why? You already went inside, didn't you? If you already went in, then why do I have to tell you what's in there? Uh, because if you tell us something different, we'll know you didn't really go in. Yeah, you have to explore. Yeah, here, tell us what you see. You can taste it on your tongue. I'm in the kitchen. Look for the bones in the oven. There are no bones in the stupid oven. Would you fit in there? Or would they have to chop you up? Someone should chop you up. This place is creepy. You've almost made it.
All right, Kara, move your butt. Come on. Kara, get moving. <sighs> Come on. She probably tripped and broke something. That's all I need. You made her go. <sighs> yeah. We should have put her in the dog cage. Come on. What? I'm not going in there. Kara, get your butt out of here, we're leaving. Kara, come on. Hey. Dude, she probably went out the front. We're sitting out there like idiots, waiting for her, she's halfway home. Wait, is that her phone? Where is it? in a place called Bell Mountain, north of here. Bell Mountain? What's happened to me? This will all become clear.
What are you doing sitting in the dark? How many were there? Three. Ages? I don't know. Teenagers. The girl was younger. Where are they now? Do you know what happened here? Did it stop? The ache? Good. Good? I killed them. Yes, you did. It's your nature. Genetic. Just like your mother like an animal coming into heat. Frankly, I'm surprised it didn't happen sooner when you were younger. But perhaps your childhood gave you an immunity that stopped the craving until now. I'm not a vampire. Of course not. You're a witch. The first daughter of a grand witch, in fact. Now that you come of age, you'll find you have abilities. You're almost certainly timeless from this moment. The curse is, of course, a taste for flesh, children's flesh. What's going to happen? You're going to feel markedly better. For how long? Mm, depends. With your mother, it became seasonal, spring and fall. Like I say, nature. I can't live like that, like she did. I couldn't. That's why I left home, Emma. With help, but yes. What about Robert? What about him? He's been gone for years. Can't blame him, really. Is it all right that I'm not here? Another of your blind spots, like this house. I used to wonder if you were conveniently forgetting things, but it was trauma. However, you can't forget it forever. Robert's my brother. Robert was your pet, your rescue dog. You made him your brother. And you saved his life, otherwise he'd be I don't remember that. That hardly matters. You did a good deed, stood up to your mother. The boy escaped, you with him. Perhaps he's the family you wished you had. But you know what they say about family? You don't get to choose. But enough reminiscence. There are serious matters to discuss now. What? You won't always be able to stay in the open. You're literally a fairy tale creature. You're going to have to go underground, deep down, into the woods. That's where she is, isn't it? It is. In the shadows lurking on the outskirts of towns, feeding when she can, 
on roadkill and runaways. After you left, or ran away, she couldn't stay here, she knew that, but she wanted to keep the house. I saw to that. I can't, I can't let this happen. I don't think you're going to be able to avoid it. No, you'll help me find a way. A cure. Something. I wouldn't bet on it. You should go now. I'll take care of this. How? I've been cleaning up after your mother for 40 years. Children go missing all the time. The trick is to make their disappearance both plausible and permanent. One more thing, kill the story, go back to work, and tell them it didn't pan out. Just speculation. And an empty house. I'm glad you're feeling better. I mean, I wasn't really worried, but I guess Connor is some sort of miracle worker. The Mojave County Sheriff's Department what has issued a statewide time? Amber Alert for three missing Bell Mountain, Mountain teenagers. The teenagers out, were last seen bit. Wednesday afternoon walking to a local convenience store. Hey, to further complicate I'm wheels up at 2.40, so got a jet. Love you. Love you too. The Mojave County Sheriff's Department asks for anybody with any information leading to the discovery of the three teens to please call the tip line at 760. Dr. Meyer Schultz, please. He isn't here. How terrible. It's so very urgent. Will you tell him that Mr. Buckley is having positively alarming hallucinations? Why, he thinks he's the orangutan murderer in Poe's murder of the room morgue. Tell the doctor I must have some definite help. I'll go get him and bring him in. No. Don't do that. So I have like the weirdest cravings. Things I never would even like before. Like mustard on pretzels. Can't get enough of it. The guy at the mall in the pretzel place probably thinks I'm hitting on him because I've been there like four times this week. Mm. And you know what else? I was looking it up on the internet and because I have zero morning sickness, it means, Josie, it means I'm probably having a boy. Which is not like for sure, for sure. I have this weird feeling that it's a girl. So fingers crossed, cause girls rule. Yeah, I'm pretty sure that we got knocked up in that house. House? Bell Mountain. When we went in there to set up all the pranks, which I'm still really sorry about by the way. But when we were going there to set up all the stuff, there was this big bed and one thing led to another and wow. Well, you want some? 
No, thanks. Well, I hope you know you're gonna get called on to babysit, like a lot. I know how much you love kids. Mm. God, listen to me. Did I gab away this much when I wasn't pregnant? Anyways, what's going on with you? Got any more haunted houses for us to look at? I know the last one didn't really pan out. Not a good enough horror story, I guess. You think you're big, you think you're bad Giving yourself a heart attack Don't you share, don't you share with me You got your lawyers and your day Gonna show me who's a man Don't you dare, don't you dare try me Cause all your pressure on me makes a diamond And your tears are no match for my blood Oh, while the ruby in my veins will shine on You'll drop in the flood Whoa, you're just a marionette Talking head, a fool's puppet God bless your soul, I said it's hell in the hallway, devil raised.